At the September 28 board work session, Dr. Rick Barker with DNR Consultants presented an opportunity for CCS to hold, host several Chinese exchange students, as many as a few hundred. From the information presented, it appears to be a positive opportunity. According to Dr. Barker, the program would allow China's brightest students to challenge our students. Select uh, Cleveland County students would have the opportunity to study in China if desired. And the economic impact would be beneficial to Cleveland County Schools and the county as a whole. During the presentation, Dr. Barker indicated that a board decision to move ahead was needed soon to be able to make arrangements for the next school year. The board took no action and did not provide a timeline to Dr. Barker for when you might respond. As I understand, this opportunity was first presented to the superintendent four to five months ago, and there have been one or two meetings with Dr. Barker and the Chinese. If the board or superintendent have concerns with this program and believe it to not be in the best interest of Cleveland County Schools, then please provide information to the public regarding your position. If it is a good program, why was it not acted on at the last meeting, or at the very least added to the agenda for this meeting? I'm requesting a response to this question as part of tonight's meeting or by email tomorrow. Also at the last meeting, school performance scores and grades were presented to the board. Based on the scores shown, the four traditional high schools had grade level proficiency of 40 to 60 percent. But those same schools were graduating 88 to 91 percent. How can a school that only has 50 percent of its students grade level proficient graduate almost twice that? More discussion needs to be had regarding those scores and exactly what they're showing. So far, it calls into question the quality of the diplomas that we're handing out. Earlier tonight, the board was recognized for completing training requirements for the previous school year. As I understand, board members are required by the state to complete 12 hours of training each year. A few months ago, I requested training and expense records for each board member. Most board members are earning 12 to 24 hours a year. However, there are two to three board members who are getting 40 to 50 plus hours of training each year. Their training expenses are four to five times what the other board members are. The last two years, the board has spent $27,000 and $29,000 on training. I was told the board members can go to any training they like and that no one approves training expenses. In two years of attending board meetings, I've never heard the board discuss where the board members should attend training or how much it costs. Individual board members have not reported back to the board what they learned at training. If all the extra training was important enough to spend the money on, it seems like it would be shared with other board members in an open forum. It would seem more appropriate to save some of that money to hire an extra teacher's assistant. I'd like to suggest to the board that all training requests be discussed in an, and approved in open session so the public knows how the money is being spent. I also suggest members provide a synopsis of what they learned to other board members. Thank you. Thank you.